محمد قاسم بورن 1995 السفتاوي ستريت My grandmother and I were home alone She was telling me stories about the days of our country Funny stories and sad ones But she never told me a complete story because she always had to go to the bathroom halfway through My grandma spends half her time in the room and the other half in the bathroom. My parents came back at 10.30 at night and went to sleep straight away. I couldn't sleep. I was lying on my bed awake, writing my homework. Suddenly, I heard the noise of a distance explosion. I went to my parents' room and took the radio to hear the news. I woke my father up and told him I heard the sound of a strong explosion. He said, Be quiet and go to bed. It's just aimless shooting. Anyway, I went back to bed and the electricity was out. Suddenly there was a huge explosion that shook my world. I pulled my blanket and covered my face and something fell on me. I raised the blanket off with all my strength and it was the frame of the window that had fallen on me. The blanket was full of glass and our entire house was full of black smoke. It was the day they hit the workers' union, right next to our house. But that's not the point. The point is the stupid things that happened and which I can't find an explanation for. First, the world was on fire and we all felt we would die. But my grandmother was looking for her false teeth. She was afraid that when she died, people would find out she had no teeth. Like they didn't know already. Second, the house was full of smoke, but my father lit a cigarette and smoked as if we needed more smoke. Third, my uncle called to make sure we were okay, and my father told him that we were all fine, thank God. But that all the windows of the house were broken except one. My uncle told him to break it, and my father did. And I don't know why I'm telling this story. All I know is that we're living in a cage, a prison, like an encaged bird who wants to come out, but he's besieged. Kids are dying in front of their mother's eyes. Hearts are crying for them and screaming in the loudest voice, but No one hears. No one's heart softens and no one seems to care.